Okay, so here we are outside of Bree's home with our level one Breton vampire, and we're going to get we're going to go on a mission to get um, yellow mountain flower, which is really important for alchemy for alchemy build for our alchemy potions because it allows us to build really strong fortify restoration, which enables us to improve all our equipment enchantments so this requires sneaking past two tough mobs so I'm gonna have to go back to uh, my old friend I don't have to I mean I could probably get by with that but I'm gonna go to the shadow stone to get my sneak bonus now uh, remember here uh, yeah sorry no before I jump there when I jumped there the the, 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 um, the, oh, the unicorn is gonna jump with me which is great because he's tough but Let's just see, can I cast, um, where's my conjuration, there it is, low, so I can cast, uh, I do a little light conjuration, you know, conjure familiar, and I'm going to wear my shield, where's the shield, imperial dragon shield and boots, I'm going to wear them because this sh the necromancer tends to use fire on you. So off we go, let's rock and roll. Sometimes you can be straight into party action here. Oh, no, no sign of him. Sign of him. He never turned up. Maybe he's uh, maybe that necromancer is away at the moment. It's very unusual. This is handy. Maybe he's been killed. The drag maybe the dragon killed him. This is nice. I can come back here anytime now without fighting. Okay. So let's go to our next destination. You know, tough one. We want to go to a place called Ancestor Glade, which is near Falkreath. And we have already travelled to Falkreath, so that should be straightforward. <coughs> uh, Ancestor Glade. Uh, it's a big long windy path up here in the mountains. But, because I've got a horsey, I can just jump and go straight up the hills. I'm going to do that. Take a shortcut. There's a regular shortcut and then a super crazy shortcut. I've done both. See, see that uh, symbol on my navigation bar? It's like a fir tree. That's the ancestral blade. I think I can go up here. There's bandits around here, all right, but there are bandits around here. Oh yeah. See that slim, slim ledge of rock? I'm going to go up there. There we go. Once, once the, once the rock starts to jigger, the image, you know you're making it. Once the whole screen shakes badly, oh, keep going. There's a gap in the rock. See that gap? Okay. Up we go. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. This is it. Now we're on a regular path. It's easy. And this is Ancestor Clay coming up to us now soon. Always oh, hate that when you press the right arrow and it turns left. It's very confusing. I've gone off a cliff many times. Oh, it's this way here. This is it, Ancestor Glade discovered. Now, the Ancestor Glade has yellow mountain flower, which is really powerful for just one potion. But it's guarded by two of those ent women, female ent creatures, which are really powerful. There's no way you can fight them. Not a level 1. I couldn't fight them at level 20, 10, probably. So I'm going to have to use my vampire shadows, uh, visibility, and my sneak abilities. Everything. And I might have to do it more than once. 
because they are tough as hell. But they're very, they're very good at detecting sneak. So I might, might take more than one go. Uh, I've got my bloodworn helm. So where's my shrouded boots? And I'm gonna dump the shield because nothing's gonna save me now. It's just sneak. And then a shrouded cow. And then we're gonna go to make sure we've got the mark the embrace of shadows. My dragon. So F5 to save if we have to restate. Get ready to to become invisible as soon as we detect any enemy action. Getting past them is really tough still. That's them, the buzzing sound. Whew. There's another one coming straight up ahead. Oh, I think I've been detected. I think it's I'm, I think I'm done for one I'm detected, but I'll try anyway. There's nowhere to run because they follow you. Visible and I've got really good sneak, so I'll just hide for a bit and see if that works. You can just hope that they go away, you know. This sometimes happens to hunters who don't, who haven't found you. Oh, I can see my shadow against the rock. There's this lit eyes going down. The problem is I'm spending a lot of sneaks, I'm building up a lot of snake skill here, which I don't want to do, but anyway. See, sneak increased. Now they've disappeared. I'm still invisible, but visibility doesn't seem to do anything if you're not sneaking. Now I'm not invisible anymore because I picked up something. I'm just hoping that the um, Make those super powerful and start around still. And normally, because we're doing a playthrough, I'm you know, going quicker. Normally, I would rerun that so that they didn't spot me. Usually, I can get by without them spotting me. And I wouldn't have to hide in the rocks, and the sneak wouldn't go up. Yeah, that was a, that was a less than perfect. I've often done runs where I've got past them without being in the tent, without being spotted. By it, spotted. Now you see the other mountain flower. I've got now 26 of them, which is probably enough for the whole game, you know. But you can get more, and I'll just get more because the next time we come back here, late in the game, I'll. I was doing a regular full run through with all the main quests and they would have respawned by then anyway so there's no advantage in not getting as many as you want there's also some other nice things like cro tundra cotton and crocus there's other you know alchemy ingredients up here yeah you know dark dragon's tongue i yeah. can't remember what he's good for but So you'd end up with, if you really get everything, you'd probably get 50 of them. But you can certainly end up with, it's easy for, oh there's my um, invisibility's disappeared now. See, look, yellow mountain flower, 39. Since in every alchemy session you might use 3 or so, maybe 4, you've got 12 alchemy sessions, that's a whole game. A big playthrough, and we're only doing a one, we're doing a mini playthrough. Now, getting back out again, I could try running without, without, or I could try my invisibility. So, because we're trying to do a speedy thing, I'm going to try to do it without invisibility. I'm going to put on my run, my, uh, my whirlwind sprint shout, and try for the run. And I can also get myself some uh, vegetable soup. So what we're going to do is just try to spin past. Remember, they'll probably one hit kill me. So let's save here while we're over here, because this probably won't work.
we, we can always sneak. What I can do is wait 24 hours, get my invisibility back, uh, my magic, my giant vampire invisibility, and do the same sneak out. Or I could use an invisibility potion. Do you know? I have invisibility potion and sneak. So let's use them. And let's put the invisibility potion on. Put that on my quick menu. I, I, I never use this. Um, is there any point? Well, it might give me a second or two before this button. So F Q. And remember, one will give me the potions of health. So one for health in case I get whack. And Z to sprint. See, that meant oh, no, I'm dead. Okay, I went the wrong way. That was that was disastrous. That was disastrous. Going the wrong way, but anyway, I made it out. They'll never come out here after. So there's a lot to be said for running, you know. Now I've got to be careful here. I've done this before, where I got wounded inside the cave, and then I run out into sunlight. When you run out of the sunlight, your health immediately drops about 50, and it kills me. So I should never do that. If you're a vampire, never run out of the sunlight. But now we've done it, and we've got our yellow mountain flower. And that was really good. Now I want to get some alchemy gear. So I'm going to get... Uh, I've already got an alchemy glove, so I can buy an alchemy necklace and an alchemy circlet from Solitude. I don't need my horse, but what the hell? One step forwards. So solitude, I can buy. Oh, can I buy anything? Because my selling. Here's my speech. No, I can't buy anything. So let's go back to. Right, um, white run. Um, do some basic alchemy, and go to jail. Oh, stables, don't want to go to stables, sorry. So, I don't have any gear to dump. All I have to do is pick up all my gear. Yeah, don't need to dump anything. Now, the only thing I have to be careful of is, oh, this is a problem now. Going to jail is not so easy. Have you heard? Uh, There's been another dragon attack. Yeah, yeah. Go, go away, go away, go away, pal. You see, I've used my previous potions and stuff to get me some magic bonuses. So I've got magic bonuses on my Ring of Master and my Mage Backpack because I haven't taken them off since. I'm going to lose that if I go to jail. Oh, oh so I'll just have to accept that. So what we'll do is we make some basic potions of restoration and then when we, when we get the actual magic gear that we purchase we'll do more powerful ones so let's go i have the gloves anyway a bracer side so put on the um blood worm helmet to boost everything then put on the bracers and get a 15 instead of 12 percent bonus and then save and then let's see if we can make a couple of alchemy potions so you see a fortified rest of salt pile plus my new ingredient yellow it's going to be more powerful than the original one R I can make it 25% potion yeah and then I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these 25% potions and drink it and that'll boost up my um, I'm keep the keep the other one. Blood warm helm. And where's that eye uh, bracers? And this time it'll be more powerful, I hope. Okay. And okay, it should be. All my other potions. Okay. Actually, no. Let's do that better. Let's do that better way. Let's do that better way. I've got a better idea. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I wanted to, I'm just going to make four, fortified magic potion. Fortified restoration. Salt pile and. Up, 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 yellow mountain flower. This is a better way to do Get more powerful. R. R. Use one. And then. Quit alchemy. Take one. You can't do anything until you get out of the animation. Fortify. Yeah, potion. Fortify restoration. Re equip my gear. Go up from 25 to 34%. Let's see if we can fit another one in here. Take a thirty-four. Take a thirty-four percent. We equip. Oh no. Okay. Fortify restoration. Thirty-eight percent. Okay, that's nice. So now I have a, a stacked tier of different strengths of magic of restoration, and I think they're quite good actually. At this low level, like level one, seriously. So now I don't even need to buy. I don't even need to buy. I don't even need to buy the ring, just now. Or sorry, I don't need to buy the necklace of alchemy. I'm gonna go to. Um, I'm going to go and do the um, diplomatic immunity, but not just now. First of all, meet Delphine in Riverwood and get the actual mission offer. So let me see, I've got my power of the fortified restoration spell ready. Oh, where's my sneak at? Hmm, I don't want my sneak, I don't want... I don't want to sneak too much. It's 41. Okay, so let's go to um, Delphine. We're going to do the... Um, Delphine's in Riverwood. I'm going to break into the Salmor Embassy next. Well, amazing how such a noble place like Riverwood is the center of the Dragonborn's universe. Kind of ironic. I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. Oh, good girl. Let's follow. Let's go. Um, yep. Oh, wait for restore health. Nice. Come on, girl. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on, come on, come on. She's. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. You're not coming. That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely. The Thalmor Ambassador. I can get okay. you into one of those parties. Once so you're Thalmor inside party. the embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wen's secret files. Okay. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of... His name is Mel. I'll get word for him okay. to meet you in Solitude. While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any question? Sounds good. Okay, so the trick is... Careful. I'm going to have to dress up in party gear to go into the part to the embassy and then change inside the gear that the agent has given has taken from me. So I can't take any potions now until then, okay? Okay, so this has got to be organized carefully. So meet Malborn, her contact, and give him the gear that I need for when I'm in there. What? Solitude, yeah. So, sneak, sneak, sneak. And I've got a sneak. Try, I've got a sneak standing stone on me, so that's good. True, I may look the part of oh, I'm so used to running up here. Malborn, Mal, Malborn is in the Wicking Skeever, the pub. First on your left. There's no need to run up there. 
Get more haste less speed. Some things like a paralysis staff I could have got for this mission, yeah, but Fletcher couldn't be bothered me. It's difficult. So let's, Sometimes this is tedious, but a well-made arrow strikes forth like the fury of a god. Yeah, yeah. Need something? Really? Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment in. Don't plan okay. on bringing anything else. Give me what you can't live without. Okay. And I'll make sure to get it. Okay. I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. Be very careful Find here. The party. Don't worry. I probably won't ever need a sword, but I just don't want to risk it. You know, a bow. Where's all my arrows? Arrows don't weigh anything, so there's no harm when you lose them. Um, I do need, yeah, I need my staff of fire and storm match mat in case I need to be on a dead body permanently. Mm, I need it. Probably not. So now, the amulet of Talus I can bring with me. It's a, It won't come up. It doesn't have to be hidden. So there's no point in giving it to him. The bloodworm helm, yes, 100% give that to him. Oh, I don't need those high bracers. What am I doing with him? Hey, what do I need to give to him? And not the Imperial Goods. Armish Ring of Master, yes. Oh, quest items cannot be removed. Okay, because I never finished the Master Quest. Okay, so that can't, that can't be taken off me. Can't be stopped by the Shrouded Cow. Shrouded Cow. Shrouded gloves, yeah. Oh, I've already got the boots. Um, now, the important ones are you know, those potions I just made fortify restoration, like different strengths 25, 26, and 27. That's lovely because as they're different strengths, they'll, they'll multiply. Okay. What if I sneak? Yep. Alien. Yep. Um, alien potions. Yeah, magic potions. Stamina potions. I need to do one bit of pickpocketing. Oh, I forgot about that. That's really useful. Yeah. Natural healing. Regeneration. Yeah. There's my restore health. I don't need that really, but. Um, really frenzy poison. Oh, that would really work in everybody now. I'm gonna take that with me. Um, scroll of fire storm. Mm. Could be useful. I definitely want to bring vegetable soup with me, just a few of them. And a home cooked meal at one is enough. Uh, oh, yeah, um, definitely bring lockpick. Oh, actually, I don't need lockpicks anymore because I've got another route down the back. But bring them anyway. I might need to recharge a staff. I think there's something very clever I need here. I'm worried about that. Okay. Okay, that's it. I should have given my backpack. Okay, it doesn't matter, it's too late now. You must have been crazy or something. 
Being old's not so bad. Now, off to um, Telephone. Have you given Melbourne the gear? Good. Yep. But the only way you're which means you need to when you're ready. You'll only have what Mel you can't go to a It's backpack, party gear. Be at the Thalmor Embassy. I guess that we'll have to ready to board the carriage to the embassy. Yep, I'm ready. Don't worry. Just make sure. Good luck. Off we go to the uh, Thalmor Embassy. And now we're here, we'll wrap up and we'll do the adventure next episode. And I'm going to ignore Ratsland's little wish rings here. So we'll close with that. Thank you. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this godsforsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late. <laughs>